Hello friends and welcome to today's video. I am going to show you guys how I kind of prioritize my self-care, how I deal with haters, trolls, drama channels, making videos about me, how I'm dealing with all the drama and chaos that's going on in the world with the pandemic and just like all of my anxiety I have. This video is gonna kind of show you how I deal with all of that. And so I hope it helps you, enjoy. So how I start my self-care days um, are, I will wake up, I'll go downstairs, I'll make myself coffee. The ritual of making coffee is something that I really love. I feel like if I have a little bit more of like a scheduled routine that I kind of stick with each day, um, it really helps me. And so I like to do that. I like to take my morning coffee. I like to walk in my garden. I feel like getting outside and getting like sunlight on me really helps with my mood and my energy. I also really love being surrounded in nature first thing in the morning. It It helps me just kind of gather my thoughts a little bit and get my, you know, day started, get a little bit of caffeine running through my blood and, you know, get me ready for my day. And then after that, I will sometimes, if I have a few minutes, I'll go into my sport court and I'll actually listen to um, something on my Aura app. Uh, if you guys don't know what the Aura app is, it's literally life-changing. This is something I feel like every single person should have on their phone. I'll sit down and I'll listen to something. They have everything from like something that's three minutes to listen to or you know, a, a lot longer, but um, I like to try to stick to the three minute things just because I have a short attention span and I'm also a mom of two. And so it's hard for me to get like a few minutes to myself. So that's why I love that they have like a three minute, you know, meditation or they'll have like a three minute um, cognitive behavioral therapy talk. Um, they have everything. So I, I didn't even mention, I'm so excited about this app and sharing it with you that I didn't even mention that the Aura app is a um, wellness and sleep app. So it has so many different things on the app. It helps with anxiety, helps with confidence. They have life coaches on there. They have therapists on there. Um, I have been trying to get a therapist. This has actually been a huge problem since the pandemic is everybody needs a therapist right now. Or not everybody, but a majority of the people have been looking for therapists. And I have a lot of friends and family that are therapists and they are completely booked, um, like jammed solid book. They have no openings. I've been trying to get a therapist um i have a psychiatrist but just like a therapist to talk to like weekly or bi-weekly and it's literally it's taken me like 18 months and i still haven't found anybody 18 months i've been i'm on waiting lists i mean it's really bad so when i found this app i was like hallelujah even though it's not like a one-on-one -on -one therapy it's been so beneficial and helpful like i said they have cognitive behavioral therapy talks on there that you can listen to you know instead of listening to a podcast or listening to music now i listen to my aura app so i'll go into my sport court i'll turn my aura app on i'll do either like a meditation or some sort of like life coach talk or confidence talk or something that's really helped me um i listen to a few different things but the one thing that's mainly stuck out with me i'm actually going to put it on the screen right here because I think that this is something that everybody should listen to. It's like 23 minutes long. It was so powerful for me. This is something that is kind of how I have dealt with my haters. In the past, I try to ignore them or whatever, but like, you know, sometimes they get to you. You can't just like shake it off. And this 23 minute talk has literally changed my life when it comes to haters or trolls or like drama channels making vi videos about me. It's like literally been life-changing. Totally changed my way of thinking about how I deal with those situations. And um, it's put me in control of my life. And now I'm completely unbothered by like trolls and haters because I look at it so much differently. And this woman has like taught me so much. Anyways, this app is life-changing. It's helped just so much with my anxiety, helped so much with like dealing with haters and trolls. Um, and also just being able to feel like a little bit more at peace 
with everything that's going on in the world that's like not peaceful. <laughs> Aura was nice enough to give you guys a free trial on Aura's website by using this special link that I'm gonna put in the description. So be sure to check that out. And for the first 500 people, you're gonna get a free trial plus an exclusive 25% off. To get started, it's completely free. And then after the free trial, if you decide that you wanna continue using it, it's just $5 a month. It's literally like cheaper than a cup of coffee right now. And it's so worth it for becoming a happier and confident person or waking up feeling refreshed and feeling self-love. That is literally priceless. So $5 a month is nothing. It's like pennies compared to what you're gonna be getting out of this app. It's so much better value compared to other apps and other meditation apps, or even going to therapy or getting a life coach. Those things would be so much more expensive. So if you are wanting to help yourself, this is your sign. I'm telling you, go do this. You deserve this putting the link down below, please go check it out. Again, it's only for the first 500 people. You can start today for free. If you don't like it, no obligations. You can just cancel at any time. So thank you again, Aura, for supporting me on my journey of well-being and sleep. So some of the things that I do is I don't watch the news. Like I stopped watching the news many years ago because I realized that it gave me so much anxiety. So that's like another thing that I do. And instead of watching the news, I'll, I like to watch like documentaries or things that are educational um, and that are gonna teach me, you know, something that I can teach others or teach my kids. Also, I like to spend time in my garden and gardening. I feel like that that's like very productive instead of, you know, um, I don't know, scrolling on TikTok. All the, and, and, I have to say TikTok is pretty fun and educational. Um, I feel like people don't even need to go to school anymore. They just can watch TikTok. Um, that's a joke obviously, but I'm kind of being serious. I've learned a lot on TikTok. So I don't think that that's totally, you know, a mindless thing to do. You know, instead of watching a lot of TV, like we'll only watch like a movie or like a documentary or a show at nighttime, you know, instead of like, you know, during the day having the TV on. That's something I feel like that helps. I'll also try to do things like diffuse essential oils. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, when I, I first bought um, like a starter kit, uh, I think it was like a couple years ago, and I hated the smell of essential oils. Like majority of them, I just did not like them. Um, they had like funky smells and it was too strong. And I just didn't like it. And then I started my Zoloft, which I'm on for my anxiety. Um, so definitely talk to a doctor if your anxiety is so like debilitating that it's, you know, I think that medicine, therapy, there's so many things that you can do combined to help with your anxiety. And for me, medication was huge. And then on top of it, um, I think therapy is also very helpful, um, but I so once I started my Zoloft, I was able to, I realized that um, I had anxiety in different ways, like with my misophonia, I also um, had issues with sounds, and now I don't have that problem anymore. Um, it was really cool that it helped me with that, um, but I realized also the same with smells. Certain smells would trigger my anxiety or like um, if I couldn't control like certain smell, I don't know, it's very odd, but um, that also I felt like really um, went away when I took the Zoloft and now I'm actually able to enjoy the essential oils. Someone was diffusing them um, a while ago and I actually really loved the smell. And so I was like, I'm gonna try my diffuser again at home and I've been diffusing again as the essential oils and I actually really love them now. Um, so when I'm like baking banana bread at home, I'll put on um, like cinnamon bark and nutmeg like in my diffuser and it makes my house just smell like amazing. And those smells like really, I feel like uplift my mood um, and just like make my um, surroundings and like my environment like a happier, better place to be in. So if I'm feeling like really stressed, I'll diffuse lavender. I'll try to take a bath if I can. I'm not a huge bath girl but I have a beautiful bath now in my house upstairs in our master. And so I'll just turn my diffuser on, put some essential oils in there, you know, um, 
lavender, whatever it is to like, you know, to make me like relax and feel happy. And this is kind of how I like treat myself and find time to give like my self care, you know? Um, because a lot of times I feel like we are so busy and stressful and we have like a million things that we have to do and we don't ever make the time or we say like, oh, I don't have time to like take a bath or I don't have time to listen to something for 20 minutes, that's too long. We need to prioritize like our time for ourselves. And so that's what I've been trying to do and that's something that really helps me. I can't tell you like how relaxing it is to just be in the bathtub with essential oils and like a diffuser. It is the most magical thing. It makes you feel like you're at a day spa and it's so relaxing. It doesn't seem like it would be, but it really is. And if you're having a stressful day or you're just feeling overwhelmed, this is one way to really, really relax you and just put you in a state of peace and calming within you. You really have to prioritize making that time for yourself and doing something like this, even if it's just a five or 10 minute bathtub, you know, with relaxing music, relaxing sounds, submerging your body in warm water, journaling a little bit it makes a big difference. You should try it. With my anxiety and just like the pandemic stuff and all the things, you know, like it just helps me center myself, be at peace give myself that quiet time and it's a priority to make that time for myself. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and that's what I'll do. I'll take a bath, diffuse oils, I'll journal, I'll write down the things that I'm grateful for, you know, like a gratitude um, book that I have. And I really love um, writing down things I'm grateful for. I like to try to do that in the morning if I can because it really um, kind of sets the mood for the day and puts you in a state of gratitude and like positivity. So um, yeah, those are kind of just some of the ways that I like to prioritize um, me. <laughs> and you know, I feel like we give, give, give to others, but a lot of times we need to learn to give back to ourselves. And so all of these things have truly, truly helped me. And so I would really, really recommend that you do some of these things. Take a bath, diffuse essential oils, meditate, take a walk outside, eat good food, um, drink lots of water. I know these are all like cliche things that you think like, oh God, that, yeah, I know. Like we know these things, but we don't ever do them. We don't put them into practice. And I feel like today is the day, if you were looking for a sign, <laughs> I'm telling you, this is your sign. Go do those things for you. Even if it's just one thing for yourself, like go do it. Um, you're gonna feel better. Prioritize yourself, take control of your life again. Um, you have the power to do that, no one else. So. I hope this video was helpful. I hope that um, coming with me along on my day um, and finding um, kind of out what I finding out what I do uh, maybe will inspire or help you to do something positive and life changing for yourself. So thank you again to Aura for sponsoring this video. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section below. I would love to hear what's something that you do to help with your anxiety or dealing with trolls or, um, you know, with the worry and stress that's going on in the world. I'd really love that. Um, I'd really love to read some of the things that you guys do that I haven't mentioned in this video so that we can all kind of share each other's ideas and um, help one another deal with the craziness that's going on in the world. Like we are, you know, like we have, all we have is each other. And so, it's really nice for us to come together as one collectively and try to lift each other up um, in whatever way that may be. There's so much hate and negativity going on in the world and I want this to be a place where you can come and feel positive and um, you know, feel love and gratitude and for us to all be able to share together. There's always gonna be you know, negative comments um, down below, but if we just try to ignore those and just focus on the positive ones and the loving ones, um, then you know it'll be it'll be a better world for all of us. So um, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah. Thanks for watching.